Welcome back to ASU Centennial Moments. I'm Rich Carvel, and I'm talking with Dr. Joel Gamble. Uh, we've got you and, and some of your student uh, Herald staff members back to Waldenburg, right. and the snow has begun. So right. what were the problems getting on to Jonesboro? Well, the, the road, Highway 49, then called 39, was uh, sloped toward the center, and uh, Tom Manning, who was uh, driving and took the photographs, uh, had to straddle the middle of the road because if you got off on the edge, you'd slide off and you could see all these cars in the ditch. We counted up to 15 or 20, something in that range on the way back. And that the concern was, that, you know, the staff was all waiting here, print, printing services, the whole crew, the Herald, but they didn't have any communications with us. We didn't have cell phones. They didn't know where we were, no what we were doing. No, yeah. And we were late. I mean, you know, it took us over four hours to get back. And finally we got back about 9.30 worked feverishly on this paper, writing the stories. In fact, Roy in the back wrote a story by flashlight. Uh, I had written one and uh, Tom Dixon, who was the other one of the four, uh, wrote the other story. And so we got all this and the photographs developed and uh, went to work, got the paper printed by about 3, 3.30 in the morning. And, uh, you know, of course, this to me was the, the best day in Arkansas State University's history. Uh, at least in one I'm familiar with. And uh, we were so proud, we got out this extra edition that uh, was uh, the first publication in Jonesboro telling about university status. Some of the newspapers were afternoon and we had gotten this in before the Commercial Appeal or the Arkansas Thin Gazette arrived and so we had it first. Uh, another and, and interesting. The sun was an afternoon paper. The sun was an afternoon paper. So they weren't paper. even gonna come out till the afternoon. No, yeah. but, but they contacted us uh, the Trout family who ran that paper at that time and said something about, we, you know, they knew what we were doing and said, if, you know, if there's a way you can print extra editions of this, we will insert them or have them inserted in our paper if you can find somebody to do this. Well, you know, we printed 14,000 extra copies. <laughs> uh, there was a fraternity that uh, their pledge class, uh, one of their members was on the Herald staff, got the pledge class to go down and stuff them. So we had this in the sun that was delivered that afternoon all over uh, Craighead County in the Sun circulation area. Well, it, it certainly was a momentous event, uh, a, a, an important milestone right. in the history of Arkansas State. Right. Absolutely. Uh, you were active in a fraternity when you were a student here. Right. Uh, I was a member of uh, Lambda Chi Alpha fraternity, and the fraternity in those days was located in the basement of Danner Hall. Okay, we didn't have fraternity houses on campus. Well, there was Delta Hall, which had uh, wings okay. for the other four older fraternities. But Lambda Chi was in the Delta of Danner Hall. That's which right, is in the basement. about where the nursing, nursing facility is being is now. Built. Right. right. We were in the basement, uh, you know, old dorm, had a meeting room down there, and uh, that, that's where we met. Uh, obviously, there was a cafeteria on campus, mm -hmm. but I'm sure that uh, members of the fraternity and just being students, being up late at night, sometimes like to go off campus and eat. Where was the favorite spot? Well, for us in, in the Lambda Chi Alpha at the time, uh, again, there was a cafeteria, but you know, cafeteria food, we'd finish with that and we'd get hungry in the evening. There was a, a little uh, cafe or restaurant, I guess you would call it, uh, restaurant's probably a little high sounding name. We, we <laughs> called it the Slop Shop. The Slop Shop. <laughs> and, and we would go over there and I can recall getting 10 hamburgers for a wow. dollar. And uh, you know, we'd get a sack of hamburgers, bring them back and eat them. And, uh, other stuff. Uh, this this place uh, really had a lot of character to it, though, and we hung out a lot there at, in our fraternity. Uh, that was one of our eating places and, and one of our. There was another place on Aggie across right. from the Armory. Right. Just and the house. It was just a house, right? Yeah, the house is still there, and uh, this uh, place, a woman would cook hamburgers primarily for you, or cheeseburgers, and sell you pop out of the back of her house. Uh, there's a story about one of my students who's going to be visiting the campus this spring who tells about going there to, uh, to eat one day and he, he, he'd been there before and he goes, knocks on the door and he sees all these cars around and he comes, comes in, she invites him to, to said, well, go around back and I'll, I'll fix you something. But she said, meanwhile, go on in the living room and sit, sit down and have a seat and I'll, I'll get it fixed for you. Well, he goes in the living room and he really didn't pay much attention until he sat down and he got looking, there were all these people in the room in chairs lined around this living room. And suddenly he looked up and there was this casket. Oh and no. <laughs> in, in the casket w was 
it turned out, and he just felt awful about this, was her brother. And, who had uh, died. Who had died, and they yeah. were having the wake there uh -huh. in the... In the home. In the home. Right. Which was not un that unusual in those right. days. Well, mm -hmm. anyway, she got him the hamburger coat, and he apologized over and over for this, told her he was really sorry to come at that time, and she kept, oh, it's okay, you know, that's okay. Well, th the story he tells then about, he, he stayed away for a while because it just really hurt, had hurt to him. fast forward a few weeks. Right, a yeah. uh, two, about three weeks later, he goes back over there, and at this time, there's a sign on the door that a uh, woman has up on the sign that said, closed due to death of parakeet. <laughs> She, she didn't close for the bird, but not for the brother. That's right. right. <laughs> <laughs> but that was also a favorite eating place. Um, Joel, thank you very much for, uh, for visiting with us today. Uh, we appreciate uh, you being here. This Centennial Moment program reviewed the history of Arkansas State University through the memories of Dr. Joel Gamble, Chair of the Department of Journalism.